In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube short like this in CapCut. So let's just play it. A couple of years we bought a house. Things seem to be going. So in this short, we have some gameplay at the bottom. We've got a video on top. We've also got automatically generated subtitles. So I'm going to show you how you can do all of that in this quick video. And by the end of the video, you should have the knowledge to go ahead and create your own YouTube short, TikTok, or Instagram reel in CapCut. So first, you want to open up CapCut on PC. Then go new project and you now need to import the media into CapCut. So I'm just going to drag on my media here. So I've got GTA gameplay. I've also got me speaking. So what I'm first going to do is drag me speaking onto the timeline. And I'm then going to drag the GTA footage also on the timeline. Now I'm going to go to the GTA footage. I'm going to go audio and I'm just going to turn the audio of the footage all the way down because we don't need the gameplay audio. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and crop this GTA footage to a place where I obviously want the clip to start. So I guess we'll just go here, right? And then I'm also going to select the end of the clip and click Control B. And what that's going to do is it's going to clip the footage and I can then delete all of this leftover footage by clicking delete on the keyboard. Now, if your video isn't in the TikTok, the YouTube shorts or Instagram reel format, you want to go to ratio and it might be on 16 by 9. You can just go and change it here to 9 by 16. That's going to put it in this TikTok format. So now what we can do is we can select the gameplay and you can drag it to the bottom here. So I'm going to drag it to the bottom and we'll resize this just a little bit here. Now you can obviously play around with this. Depends how good you've recorded your clip. What you can also do is if you click on your talking head clip and if you go here to crop, you can actually crop some of this out. So maybe we don't need any of this and then you can go ahead and confirm this and it's just going to crop it and there we go we can move it up kind of like make it more centered and I can also bring the clip up a little bit more as well now you're gonna to have to play around with this and play around with what's taking up what room so now if we play this we should have me speaking so I'm just going to play this right now this is an example video for YouTube if this does help you out so obviously you can hear me playing we've got the gameplay in the background now all that's left to do is go ahead and add our text-to-speech captions. So if you go ahead and go to CapCut, you go to text, you can then go to auto caption, and here you can then create captions, make sure the source language is correct, then click create. Now once you've done that, you'll then get this caption appear. You've got captions showing like for each individual sentence. Now if you click on the first one, or any caption for that matter, you'll have settings to edit it here. And you can see if you've got apply to all selected, any changes you make to this caption, it will also be made to all of your captions, which I actually think is a really good feature. Now, what I like to do is bring the font size up a little bit. Now, remember, people are going to be seeing this on their phone. So this might look small on computer, but when it's blown up on phone, it will look bigger. You don't want your captions too big, taking up too much of the screen. Now, I also like to bold my captions. You can change the font here and the color. Another great thing that you can do is add a different preset. A lot of people add these captions with a background. You can add that background and if you scroll down here and you keep going, you'll see rounded rectangle. You've probably seen a lot of these kind of styled captions. Now, whatever you do with this caption, it's gonna update on all of them. So maybe I wanna move it just here. And again, you can edit a lot of things here, the background, the color, the height, the width. You've got glow, shadow, things like that. Now, this should have updated on all of the captions. So you can see here it has. And now all that's left to do is just kind of like play it and make sure that everything is all good and the captions actually make sense. So let's play it and we'll watch it together. This is an example video for YouTube. If this does help you out, then please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty much how you can create one of these YouTube shorts that we were talking about here. Now, this has also got effects and images overlaid onto the top here, which you can also do. You would just drag in your media and you would drag it onto a new clip here. Let me show you real quick how to do that while I'm here. You might as well stick around for it because it's not going to take much longer. But I'll just go ahead and go to media and I'll drag this on. Then once you've dragged it on, if you drag it onto your clip here, you want to drag it under your subtitles. You can then obviously mess around with the cropping of this and the size. So make sure you've got your image selected. Then you can obviously crop this here and make it as big as you want and now we can obviously decide when we want this to appear so maybe we want it to appear here so now let's play this clip 
example video for YouTube, if this does help you out, then please. So you can see how this new image appears and then disappears because I've only got it set to appear like for this part of the timeline. So that's pretty much all you've got to do to create YouTube shorts on CapCut. It's been a very basic tutorial, but I hope this has been valuable. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.